everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm Beebs Kelly. Today we are talking about this bit of gossip that was sprinkled on us regarding Meghan Markle, Prince Harry, and the Beckhams. The reports are that Meghan Markle and Prince Harry distanced themselves from the Beckhams because Meghan didn't want to be upstaged by Victoria and David. Well, yeah. It's pretty clear who the alpha couple is. One couple acts super secure, clearly has a strong relationship with one another, are both self-made, one of whom literal soccer sensation, football star. He was named like Seest Man Alive a handful of times. I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, there's no comparison between David and Harry, really. Plus, you have Posh Spice, who then went on to have successful careers, fashion design, etc. Self-made, true A-listers, actual star power. So, of course, they would have been outshined by the Beckhams, but it's deeper than that because Meghan also planted stories, so to speak, in Harry's mind that the Beckhams were leaking stories about them. How silly. As one person pointed out, as if Victoria and David would even have time. Don't they have like four kids and they both have careers, they both have life going on, and as I said, both secure people, clearly confident and unbothered by a lot and have been through a lot of their own shit when it comes to the press or the public, why would they waste their time leaking stories as if Victoria, who was the alleged leaker here, would even need publicity of Megan? She doesn't need that publicity. She has plenty of it on her own. How silly. You know who wouldn't feel outshined or threatened by the Beckhams? Catherine and William probably wouldn't feel threatened at all by them. Just a thought. Just saying. It's just clear who has actual alpha vibes, who is actually secure and put together and doing their thing and really an authentic person. And to me, the Beckhams really do display that. They seem to be very genuine. Yes, they are super wealthy and at this point, super out of touch in a lot of ways. Yes. It's time to thank the sponsor of today's video, Timo Beauty Products. Today I am testing out this Timo Air Hype Light High Speed Hair Dryer, the Dyson, for example. This still has that same power. Like I had to move my plants for this demo. It's very strong. And of course they have lots of different nozzles of Available. They have diffusers, comb nozzles. It comes with an instruction manual, of course, with everything you need to know and explains the buttons and whatnot. The power button back here can take you to normal hair drying modes where you have buttons to control three speeds for how strong the air is coming out as well as four heat options because you have no heat, which is like a cool blast, perfect for finishing your blow dry a low, medium, and high heat, and it gets nice and hot. Like, you can definitely get a great hot set with this, a great blowout with it. So let's go ahead and go give it a try. Okay, so with damp hair, I am just going to give a rough dry without the nozzle first to get all this excess moisture out. My hair is really wet right now. This is going really fast because this high-speed dryer accelerates the dry time quite a bit. So this impressed me how fast it went. So I'm starting out with medium heat and high speed. Time Out Beauty has a variety of styling tools. All the info you need is in the description box to check out their products. Just head there and follow the link. So this is actually a lot quieter than a standard hair dryer too. My old hair dryer was so loud. And this one, even on high speeds, is even quieter than that. Another benefit is that it's self-cleaning, so that keeps it really low maintenance for you too. As somebody who has done hairstyling professionally in the past, I am a trained cosmetologist, this is definitely something I would recommend. I would definitely put this in the category of a Dyson dupe. This is really nice. It works quite well, especially if you're trying to avoid putting too much heat on your hair, but you still want to be able to get it dry quickly, then this hair dryer will do a great job just because it delivers so much power no matter what heat level you choose to use. It will accelerate your dry time with or without the heat. And now that my hair is like 75% dry, I'm going to focus on high heat to allow it to get that bounce that I really like and finish drying the rest of the way. This Air Hype Light hair dryer can reduce your dry time by up to 50% and it uses ionic technology. It's 82% lighter than your typical standard size hair dryer, which I totally felt. My arms are not tired by the end of this blow dry. 
It's also really nice for traveling, less space, less weight. And now I'm gonna go through with a cool air now. This is a perfect thing to do at the end of every blow dry. Okay, so here's the end result. I still have some hold from that blowout. My hair is looking nice and sleek and bouncy. My favorite thing about using a blow dryer is getting that volume and body and bounce along with it still being sleek and smooth. It's something really only hair dryers can do. I really enjoyed using it. It worked well and all the information is in the description box. Again, if you are interested in going and checking them out, I encourage you just follow the link in the description box. Thank you so much and let's get back into today's video. But you know, one thing that really influenced my view of Victoria Beckham was when I saw her do a makeup video with Lisa Eldridge. I will try to link it somewhere for you guys to go take a look because it just like, to me, showed that she really does get along with people. She's truly kind and apparently has a good sense of humor and I just think that when you see dynamics as I did in that video, you know, of course people could be acting, but it's not like Victoria is an actress and Lisa certainly isn't. They're just actually friends. And yes, anybody can come off genuine or, or good or okay here and there. But I think just over the years that they seem to be pretty genuine and self-made. People tend not to dabble in nonsense as much as people who maybe feel a little insecure about their success or have some imposter syndrome because maybe they didn't make it themselves and build everything from scratch from the start on their own. So people like Megan, people like Harry, who were kind of handed a lot of things, can sometimes be the more insecure among us to start out with and can play more games because they are more insecure. Harry and Meghan display a lot of insecure body language as well, and so of course they would feel upstaged by Victoria and David. No question, that makes perfect sense. What do you guys think? That's it for today's short video. We are coming back with fashion next time. I hope that you have a happy day ahead. I just wanted to pop on and see what you all thought about that rumor. I'll see you next time. Have a happy day. Bye.